I'm going to tell you the story about me being pulled over. Not at all. I was pulled up on by Officer Michael Drake early in the morning, April 7th, on a Sunday, mind you, day before totality. And what was in my vehicle, Mr. Drake and uh, Chief Tucker? Can you answer? Where's the report? 60 days later, Mr. Prosecutor. Seems awfully strange that I was in my vehicle, parked, no key in the ignition, not even in the vehicle. And this cop was sitting behind me, surveilling me. And mind you, I have an email from the chief of police telling me that it's illegal to uh, take photos. Well, why is it that these photos are taken and shared all over the internet? Can you answer that, please? Why is it that you think it's okay to subdue and suppress my federal amendment number right, Tara Tucker? Oh, by the way, if you don't know who Tara Tucker is, here she is, the chief of police of Greenland. And it all started at the travel center in Greenland. Again, I had gone down to save my daughter's life. Everybody knew it. And a repeat of fucking history, yeah, it seems to be because... In 2019, when I filed high-risk protection order against the government, the churches, the feds, the state, and the people all in between that were involved in sex trafficking and destroying my family, back in 2007 from Island Pond, Vermont, and surrounding area of Northeast Kingdom, to include my daughter's fathers, who were not only involved, but are still involved in telling the lies to my children to make them hate and continue to hate. It wasn't learned behavior when they were in my household, but it certainly was learned after they left my home. So, noting that I had saved my daughter, I had struggled to get back home so that I could get back on track with my own life of resuming with my property, doing no work to build a cabin and such. I was, I was depressed in many ways financially. It cost me a lot of money to travel and with no assistance from the police because they're involved in sex trafficking and covering the crimes of the death and the disappearances of not only my daughter, the abuse of me and the um, burning of my homes, the thefts of my vehicles, the disappearance of my dog and cat, as well as calling me a squatter and allowing all these fake and fictitious names to appear on accounts being put out on social media against me. Is that what led to Officer Drake from Greenland, New Hampshire, to be riding around in the surrounding area as to where I had been that weekend of April 6th and 7th? You see, I knew the fucking plate ran out, and I wasn't trying to do anything wrong, okay? I wasn't trying to deliberately break a law or being a rebel that y'all think I am because I get active with upholding the rights of the Constitution and the rights of all, okay? So the cops don't like that, and the cops say that I don't like them. Hold the fuck up now. It's not that I don't like the police, Mr. Michael Drake, and that should be on your body cam, you telling me that, right? But it's the fact that I don't like criminals and I don't like cops that commit crimes and abuse their power, as well as women, children, and others, all right? And males, they should be strong enough to defend themselves, but they're really not. The masculinity has gone away, so they have to go to the gymnasium. And they have to go to all these glorified places. And they have to take fucking steroids and street drugs. Isn't that right, police officers? And I don't even tell me that you don't because I know you do. And I know some of the people that you deal with. And so that's why I ask Michael Drake from Greenland Police Department, did you plant evidence in my vehicle? Where did you get it? How much of um, whatever you said is a big bag of marijuana? What kind was it? What did it smell like? What did it look like? I've asked for all this information. I even walked over a mile and a half from the travel center when I got out of jail to the police department and had a sit-down conversation with Tara Tucker. And still, I've been requesting for a copy of that audio recording, as well as answers as to who towed my vehicle. Why was it really impounded? Why is it that you needed a search warrant when 
Michael Drake said that he observed me smoking something. That would have been probable cause to go through my vehicle and search it in my presence. But instead, take me off by ambulance after heightening my medical condition. Lying about me and lying to the people. So where are your statements and reports that I'm going to be pleading not guilty to? Something that I don't even know what fucking happened because you haven't shown your, what? Your statement. Did you have to change it? Did you have to alter it? What did you have to do? What is the 60-day fucking holdup on getting the report to me, Tara? Um, Why is it such a quiet situation? Mind you, this is only a misdemeanor. But what this misdemeanor ended up being is a countersuit that's being filed against Greenland Police Department, the county, the administrator, and everybody that didn't listen to me. Because you withheld information, you brought on a lot of hardships without reason and justification. I didn't even get a chance to go to my home and stay. I've been staying in a different state where I don't reside. And I'm not happy about that because of the hardships that were brought on. I had to stay around people that do drugs and drink, piss in fucking cups and bottles and throw it out the window. Um, males that sit there and play with their little fucking wing wangs when they park up beside a female. And this is all out in public. Kudos to you, the fucking government, okay? And it's you, the people that fucking vote for these criminals that have got me into a situation to tell you all about it and yourselves. Now, can you also just fathom? You're sitting in your vehicle. You're drinking a coffee. It's early in the morning on a Sunday, minding your own fucking business. You get out to take a picture, and then the cop that had been sitting behind surveilling you reading your plate, obviously, comes back over and starts lying about you to you. Then you can hear him as you're laying on the ground, being pushed up with a knee in your back by some male subject that claims that you've got track marks on your legs. Can you imagine that? It was fucking dried fingernail polish that had splattered from a broken bottle that fell and fucking busted on the floor, okay? Again, if I had track marks and Michael Drake claiming that he first, he claims that he seen me smoking something, that was his reason for uh, having me put in cuffs in the first place and then running my name and saying that I had a warrant from 2019. Well, that seems kind of fucking strange because again, I see the police all the time and never one time did they ever mention anything to me. And he knew who I was, obviously, because he was swarming around me the whole goddamn weekend. I even asked him about it, didn't I, Mr. Drake? So again, noting that you've got friends in Bellows Falls and I've got haters in Bellows Falls, don't you know? Don't you think that I have reason to believe that this is all conspired? And who was it that you were telling on the phone about my vehicle being seized and you having it impounded, stickered and impounded, and that they might be getting a cat soon and then ending the call with I love you? Wasn't that kind of like a conspired situation? Into the SPCA over there by Portsmouth, Greenland area. Just so you know, I'm not done and happy with you either. I told you don't alter my cat and you gave him shots. You labeled my cat, defamed him as a tabby. He's a fucking Maine Coon, you idiots. That's right. And obviously you got friends in with the police because you were talking to Mr. Drake. So what were the plans you really had for my Maine Coon cat? I suggest somebody repent, ask for forgiveness, and start coming up with a solution and a conclusion to get the solution before I file this paperwork this morning at 11 a.m. in Portsmouth, New Hampshire to counter sue Greenland, New Hampshire, the police department, the county, the state, and everyone involved. That's my intent. And yes, the prosecutor's office asked me, do you have an attorney? Have your attorney contact us? Well, guess what? I'm pro se litigant. I don't need a fucking attorney to lie and try to subdue and hide what I've got for proof and evidence against his friends. So there you go. You're going to deal with me. And if anybody else has the balls or vagina to come forward and file 
join me. We'll make it class action against Greenland PD. Thank you.